Hi, I want to show you a couple of shortcuts for working with the calendar in layout mode, moving objects and resizing them so that this is as easy as possible for you to modify. So let's drop into layout mode and take a look. You can see we have a status area on the left and then kind of the regular calendar on the right. We actually have four pairs of calendar layouts, a larger one that I'm not using because I want to make this video kind of compact, and then a smaller one. And for each, we have a version of the layout that doesn't have the menu on the left-hand side. That's what happens when we click this bar, we kind of switch to this layout. So I'm going to use this one because it gives us a nice canvas to work on. So let's say we want to get at these tabs. I've got some orange instructions here that tell me to grab this control and move it out of the way. So I'm just holding down the shift key so that I'm moving it up without moving it left to right. And now I've revealed the native tabs below it. So if I want to make a different one of these the default, I can do that. If I want to add a tab or remove a tab, I could do that too. Um, any changes I make, I'd kind of want to make up here and ungroup this object and change these labels or remove a label. Um, these are the buttons up here that actually fire the tabs below. Uh, and I'll eventually put them back down to cover this up. But uh, that works pretty well. So let's say that I wanted to make this thing, uh, I want to change the conditional formatting here. So let's go over to the month tab, which is the most complicated one. And I have all these stacked objects here, some of which have conditional formatting on them. So I'm just going to drag them kind of down and out of the way. I'm, again, I'm holding down the shift key so that they don't move left to right. And now I see them all. And if I want to play with the conditional formatting on one of them, I can just kind of grab that. And So this is the fill color that we're using for days outside the current month. This is the current day getting highlighted in yellow. Here's how I would change those colors. Now if I want to put these back, I just kind of drag select all these objects. Now they're all highlighted. Then I'm going to hold down the shift key and click in the portal again to highlight the portal itself. And then just select align top and everything's back where it should be. Works, works really well. Um, let's say we want to resize some objects. So I'm just going to throw a T-square out here move it over here. Now you may not need to do this because the layouts kind of resize themselves anyways and you do have these two differently sized layouts to play with but if you need to get something just right um, here, here's how I would do it. And I would start grabbing objects and just dragging them over to that T-square. Again I'm holding down the shift keys so that these objects don't change their size too much. Um, let's uh, I see this little guy up here at the top. Let me grab him. Move him over here. Let's grab the tab control itself and move it over. And now let's move the portal over. Cool. So now I have some other objects I have to move. I have to move these fields. So let's do what we did before. Let's grab these fields and one by one kind of drag them down out of the way. Great. Now I'm going to highlight this object and all these because these guys are all the same width. And I'm going to start dragging them to the right and letting go, trying to get them just the right length. And maybe one more little tap. Maybe one less. Perfect. There we go. That's great. Um, and you can see I also have this line here that I need to do. So I'm going to handle that a little bit differently. I'm going to grab one of these objects and look over here to see how big it is. It's 778 now. Now I'm going to grab this little guy and say that he is 778 also. This is one of our dividing lines. Perfect. Now I'll just do what I did before. I'll highlight these objects, hold down the shift key, and select a line top and now everything comes back. All I have to do is move this tab control over and then bring it down. And we've done the month view. Let's go into browse mode. Of course the day is still short, the week view is still short, but the month view is now full size. And uh, it continues to kind of do its little object resizing. So it's pretty easy to manipulate these layouts. Again, if I'd probably want to do all four layouts or at least all two, uh, two of the layouts I'm working on. But uh, I hope that gives you some ideas of how to kind of get in there and move tabs around and work with the layout. Thanks a lot.